Okay, people, back for the last day of the weekly challenge. It has been a long week. We've been struggling back and forth, good scores, bad scores, lots of them in between. It's uh, it's what we call a laundry game, tops and bottoms, right? all over the place on the on the clothesline there. Uh, we are faced with this 13 count after they open a club to our right. Um, passing is the most normal bit. It goes a heart and no trump. Now we can double, right? We're showing four diamonds and four spades and an opening hand. Give them a chance to get in there. Maybe we play two diamonds. No, we defend three clubs, which is just fine. Um, interesting. We could lead heart, heart, and then try to get a, a heart rough. I actually don't. Oh, no, I meant, I meant to lead the ace of hearts, folks. Uh, so <laughs> let me tell you what I did wrong. Normally, we should play ace from ace king in the heart suit, right? So in a normal circumstance when we're leading, when I play with my partners online, if I have a doubleton, I'll lead the king and then the ace, right? However, the robots play king from ace king naturally. So I needed to play, <laughs> I needed to play the ace of hearts and then the king, right? So, so here it's gone heart heart. It looks like partner might have jack ten fifth of hearts. Uh, I'm gonna lead a diamond here. Hopefully, my partner has something. Uh, that might have been bad. Uh, here we'll just see what they hook for. All right, they had five clubs to our right. They had five clubs and probably two hearts. They're going to pitch a couple of spades. Little do they know spades are in good position for them. They can't know that, but they will find out them now. Notice we split this one for sure, folks. We want to get our card, right? We want to get our king or our queen. If we duck it, they can play the jack with no risk. And give them selfish a chance to take two of those spade tricks. So three clubs, that's worth sixty-seven point nine. And I guess what we're doing is just avoiding the disaster. How do we? I don't know how we trick them into playing one note. I guess we just don't double. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's it's really good to get into these auctions when you have the best hand for the most part. So we'll take that score. Still holding on to first place. Uh, this is a twenty count, and that's an easy two no bid. I don't mind these at all. I'm not going to super accept, uh, but I am going to correct this one to four spades because we have a nine-card spade fit. Folks, when you have a nine-card major suit fit, you play a game in that major, okay? Let's just do that. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to play the nine of spades, probably see the ten. And then we're going to cross to that dummy dummy, and we're going to play the jack of spades because here's the thing we know. We know left-hand opponent didn't lead away from Queen Doubleton. So if... We're seeing the queen. It's definitely on our right, and that means that that is the correct play there. Um, here we're going to play a diamond, and we're going to play another diamond. We're going to pitch a heart, right? taking our losers from two potential down to only one. And the last piece we need here is the club hook. And that's not working. All right, take that hot, and the rest is history. Ooh, a slough and a rough. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, 57.1, that seems pretty normal, right? We we did very little um, differently. Somebody made six. Luckily, I don't think they're the ones that are catching us. How did they do it? Diamond of the Ace, Jack, same, same difference. Good stuff, sir. Pitch to heart, Ace of hearts. Okay, there it was. So now, now they don't have to take a club finesse, folks. <laughs> it was it was actually well played. Look at this. That is the right way to play this thing, folks. Uh, except they could just exit a heart, right? <laughs> That's the safe exit, folks. But they didn't get it right. They exited a diamond, and there it is, folks. You'll 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 see it right there. Right? Your your over tricks are when you give them an extra trick, a slough and a rough. Here they trumped in dummy, pitched away that queen of clubs, and no more club finesse. Boom boom. All right. One more chance to excel. And we're, whoa. We don't mind this, folks. Take a look at what's happening. We have 16 high card points. Our left-hand opponent's preempted, but our right-hand opponent is showing around our values and five cards or more in the spade suit. We have nothing to say. In fact, we want them to get into trouble, and we'll happily defend three hearts sitting behind. I mean, can we double? Let's take out. We... Ooh, it's so brutal to double with the robots, so we're very, very excited to sit back and pass. Uh, I'm going to play low. 
They had six over there. I hope that's a singleton king. No, it's king queen tight. All right, I'll cash that ace. Um, I yeah, I I think we we want to draw around a trump because we want to take some club tricks as well. And I have the king of diamonds, uh, so I'm leading our heart here. I I know my partner wants a spade, right? And I'm gonna give it to him now. Well, I'm not sure why my partner roughed that one, but okay, we'll trust him. Unfortunately, we couldn't make a penalty double here because we're going to get this three tricks. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, we'll take it. Okay. 64.3. Did we hold on to first place? Did anybody pass us? Ooh, it was close. Ooh, that's the player that actually had that monster score on the second to last board there. It's Runewell here. I think we've seen their name before, either in this event or in the weekly challenge with Gavin and I. Uh, good stuff. We held on kind of wire to wire here. I think we started in first, and we could not be caught. Um, I will s lose a few hours of sleep on board six. And maybe board eight, I believe, were the ones that we had a little issue with. This last board, I'm interested to see I don't know what other people were able to accomplish on this board. Was that Runewell also? Okay, no, that was July. And let's see, where was our second place finisher? Where They were, they must have had the same score we did, eh? There it was, yep. So very similar stuff. We just needed to kind of be normal and take our tricks. There was nothing we could bid on this hand for sure. And, in fact, when you have a good hand and they've preempted each other, sit back and take your plus score and it was a just a honestly I, I thought it was a terrible misfit but they, they had a spade and a diamond fit they had a double fit on this end they played in the only suit they didn't have a fit in and uh that was bad for them but we'll take it three hearts down three so, <laughs> somebody played three no congrats um I, I guess you do really well there you get five clubs right you get three spades for eight and on a heart lead you're just going to develop a trick or a diamond lead wow Good stuff. Luckily, they weren't right behind us because we'll take that victory and we will move on to whatever we have here next week. I don't know what you're going to see because it's going to kind of depend on what I'm doing over there in Morocco, folks. So at this point, we are through, um, I think, the first six days. I hope you're watching along with us. We have a couple more days left of the round robin, and then hopefully we're in good position for those knockout stages. Stay tuned, and uh, I hope we will have some news for you, even small snippets here or there. Be on the lookout for those, and I'll see you either in the near future or when we get back from the World Championships. Thanks a lot, folks, and as always, enjoy the rest of your summer and safe travels if you're doing that. Take care, folks.